January 26, 2019, Gekum Onfroy was born and to say Onfroy is not physically here to be able to hold his son for his son to be able to see him maybe in spirit but physically not not here robbed from this earth right now we're going to try and speak to X again I've, I've done this a handful of times on my channel uh, times that I feel like have been successful but right now on his death date we try again let's go X victim XXX Tentacion to say on boy can you please come here and speak? Is there anything you want to say to your first and only child, Gekyu? You found out that you were having a child two weeks before you died. Did it pain you to not be there for your child's birth? Were you there to see Gekyum be born? Is there any message that you have for Cleopatra? There was a lot of responses just then. It was, there was like at least one in there I felt maybe had his tone. But there was a couple of responses that I think were, were relevant. So we're, we're going to go ahead and continue with the spirit box. But it seems like maybe we may have touched a nerve at somewhere in the spirit verse so here we go if there was something you could say to your son right now what would you say How do you feel about how things have been handled as far as your death goes? Thought there was something right there. Can you say your full name for us right now so we know if it's you or not? Dude, I think you just said, just say. Just so say Dwayne Ricardo on Foy. Have you got to see how your music's been pushed since your death? Is there anything you want to say to your mom, to your son's mother, 
a friend. Okay, that time there were some very compelling responses. Um, I'm going to review some of those real quick and, and, and I'll be right back. I knew if anybody could communicate with X, it was me. And one year ago, today... That's exactly what I did. It was life changing for me. And, you know, it's a sadness that a young man was taken from this earth at such a young age who was so inspirational to so many people, who has made such a mark before his death and since his death, so many people hurt, touched by this guy, inspired. And for me, when I approached communication with him, I had no idea what it was going to be. You, I mean, you never do. And to this day, I, I can't say 100%. That I made communication with him. I can just say, and, and this is what I honestly feel, from hearing him in interviews and seeing, hearing his music and, and knowing the tone of his voice, which he had a very distinctive tone, I felt like he came through. And since then, I feel like I have communicated with him here on my channel. Today, that's what I did again. I reached out. I asked the spirits if... if X can come to this frequency, if he can, through energy, if you can help bring him here to me, help him to communicate with me, help me to help him be heard, that's what I want, that's what a lot of people want, and I feel, I feel like he came through, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I thank you all for giving me the opportunity to possibly let X or spirits be heard here on my channel. And appreciating the fact that it means something to me. And, and, and I appreciate the fact that it means something to you. If you like this video, if you like these videos, leave a like. Leave comments below. Share the video. Share it on Twitter. Share it on Instagram, on Facebook. Help spread the word. Spirits need a voice too. They deserve that. It's probably hard enough being a spirit. The least we can do is give them a platform to let their unheard messages be heard. Not everybody gets to say what they want to say before they die. So let's let them say what they want to say from their spirit lives. I'm Jody Dean, Mr. Hunting the Dead. R.I.P.X. Until next time, sweet nightmares.